What is going on guys, Nitster here, back again with another video for you guys, and today man, we're going to be doing, or we're going to be reviewing the players in the player, or playoff performers uh, set that just came out for 2K17, my team, we're going to start off with the rubies, uh, once this loads up here, alright, first off we have Robert Ori in 88 overall, uh, he is a pretty much a spot up shooter, um, if you don't know, Robert Ory was is a really good shooter. Uh, okay, 95 open shot three. Uh, he doesn't. Oh, he, he does have. He has two Hall of Fame badges. That's really good. Uh, corner specialist, catch and shoot. Um, so yeah, he's definitely a shooting uh, player. If you need a shooter on your team, and you don't have a lot of MT to buy uh, the diamonds, uh, he's definitely a good uh, a good pickup, uh, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for him. Um, I mean, I I personally don't need him, so I won't be getting him. Next up, we have Tony Tutoch, um, 92 offensive and 72 defensive. Um, he's ob he's obviously a shooter as well. Uh, and like I said in my previous video, his jumper is really nice. Uh, I like his jumper a lot. Um, he's not. He's really just a, a spot up shooter again. Uh, there's like literally nothing, uh, you can, I'm not really a shooter per se, um, but I, I, I mean, I do shoot shots, uh, occasionally. I'm more of a slasher, uh, in my team. Uh, he doesn't have a really, like a really good draw foul and like nothing else stands out other than his shooting. But, you know, I do run him as my backup small forward for the moment. Um, so, I mean, he's not exactly a terrible target if you if you need him. And if you need a shooter just like uh, Robert Ory, he's a good pickup in my opinion. Next up, we have Tristan Thompson. And uh, I feel like he's not really a scorer. Uh, but I'm pretty sure he can score. Um, if you need him to, you can probably like, do like a drop step or something. Um, he does come with a uh, hustle rebound and put back in, which is huge. Um, I do have do have him as my backup center for the moment um, because I technically I well not technically typically need him for the rebounding and whatnot. Um, obviously, he's not as good as Kareem because Kareem is like seven three and Tristan is like six eleven I think. Uh, but he he's a he's a pretty good rebounder. Ninety eight. Offensive rebounding and 92 defensive rebounding. Yeah, that's that's pretty good in my opinion. And then he's got 90 or uh, 86 block and 88 shot and test, 85 steals and uh, defensive 85 consistency. Um, he, he's just a good defender. Um, if you wanted to store them, I'd say probably like free throw. His free throw is actually not that bad. Uh, yeah, it's an 85. That's not that bad though. I liked his free throw a little bit. Um, it's, 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 it's all right. Um, and I would say like back him in and then like turn around and dunk on him. That's how you would store most of your points with him. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the rubies. Next up we have Amethyst players. We have this Amethyst Andre Itadala. Um, 90 offensive overall, 99 defensive overall. Definitely worth a pickup in my opinion. Uh, I totally go back on what I said yesterday. Uh, this Itadala is a beast uh, at driving into the paint. Um, his speed with ball is actually pretty good for AG, I thought. Um, and I put a shoe. I would put a shoe on him, have him give him uh, a 98 speed with ball. Uh, I mean that's that's pretty good. Plus he has uh, the ball control of a. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A ball control. Uh, 92 so he is definitely speed boost worthy he can uh, and his driving dunk is his driving down and his contact dunk 96 driving dunk and 85 contact dunk obviously those are some pretty good stats so you're gonna be getting to the hole uh, a lot and uh, with his uh, what's his draw foul hold up here his draw foul is a 95 so you're definitely getting to the line uh quite a bit with this card his free throw is an 80 so that's kind of meh but you know i mean i'm pretty sure if you like time it 
and you like get it down in time. I'm pretty sure you knock him down. Next up, we have this Tom Heinson or Heinson, whatever his name is. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, 94 offensive, 92 defensive. He's really not that special. Uh, his post fade, I guess, the 95. But he he's six seven power forward. That is really undersized for power forward in my opinion. Uh, Robin's six nine. I even thought that was undersized too. Um, but I think even my Ruby, like Antoine Walker, is beating him uh, in some stats. Um, but I, I don't see myself picking up the start, honestly. Uh, I probably would. If I were to run the start, I probably would run him at, like, small forward. I think small forward would definitely be uh, a place to run him. Obviously, I haven't used this chart. I don't know if I ever will. Uh, but I just feel like if you were to run him at anything, you probably don't run him at, at small forward. Even though that his primary position is power forward, I just don't see me running him at power forward. Don't mean it's like the bigger guys. Um, so yeah, that does it for the Amethyst player. Next up, we have the Diamonds. Uh, we have, uh, these players right here. Uh, the Lar and also the Larry Bird. Um, in my opinion, though, uh, I don't know what, uh, Diamonds I picked up, honestly. Uh, probably this Bill Russell would be the only card I get. Uh, specifically for his uh, defense and like inside scoring. Because obviously, Bill Russell, he can't shoot for crap. Uh, but he is a really good defender and rebounder. So I'd probably put him at a power forward and put him with uh, Kareem and put Kareem at center. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, he's actually going for really cheap. Holy hell. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to mention this. Bill Russell has 16 Hall of Fame badges. Holy Lord. He has Lob City Finisher, Posterizer, Posterizer, bro. Put Back Chain, Pitch and Roller, Relentless Finisher, Post Spin Technician, Drop Stepper, Dream Like Up and Under, Break Starter, Hustle Rebounder, Defensive Stopper, Charge Star, Brick Wall, Bruiser, Rim Protector, Chase Down Artist, and um, Pitch uh, Pocket. And pick Dodger Gold. That is that is a lot of Hall of Fame badges, bro. That and he's actually not going for well. I mean, this one ended now, but like he's actually not going for a whole lot. Uh, if I actually had like 200k, I pro like no joke would probably pick that up. Uh, yeah, see he he's done for like 160, and this one ends in like uh, a minute, like literally a minute. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, there's nothing. There's no difference between this one and this one. These cards are just going to get cheaper, man. I I feel like they're going to get cheaper, and this uh, this set will become cheaper. But I, I don't see myself picking up this Diamond MJ, though, uh, simply because I just don't see myself locking up all that MT to get Diamond MJ, Pink Diamond MJ. Not that I would have a problem getting Pink Diamond MJ. I just don't see myself grinding enough to get enough MT to buy all these cards. Next up, we have Kobe Bryant. Uh, 96 offensive overall, 95 defensive overall. That's kind of a kind of a low for a Kobe card, in my opinion. But you know, it is what it is. And another thing, though, this Kobe has no Hall of Fame badges, none at all. Like what? I mean, I understand why they did it because um, of the uh, Pink Diamond Kobe. So people don't get upset about the Pink Diamond Kobe. It's like. For some god unknown reason, I went for that pink diamond Kobe that you get for like collecting 2,500 cards in the game, I think it was. And that that card only has two Hall of Fame badges, so that's pretty much why I stopped collecting cards because those uh, collectors' reward for collecting so many cards are just it's just not worth it. I mean, it's just not worth it uh, collecting all those cards and spending all that time and money and effort uh, for nothing, basically. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, the Kobe Bryant. Next up, we have the Shaq. Uh, the Shaq on PS4, I checked just a minute ago. He went for 1.2 million, I saw on Twitter. Uh, whoever bidded 1.2 million for this Shaquille O'Neal, uh, you took a massive L by like at least 700k. Uh, because I think after that one sold, uh, the rest went for like 500,000. Uh, I mean, they, he might have had like a diamond contract on him or something, but just God, is a diamond contract really worth seven hundred k? Not, not really. A diamond contract is like fifteen thousand VC. I mean, that's a couple of games of like my team and then like some park games. That's that. That's really not that worth it. Um, 
But this Shad, I'm not, I, I, I'm not going to say anything, uh, because I never really used this Shad. I, I would, I would imagine that the Shad is, uh, the Shad is, uh, obviously known for like defensive inside scoring and I didn't I was I was not a fan of the free shot that we got but he does come with 14 Hall of Fame badges uh, that's pretty cool uh, obviously those Hall of Fame badges are what get me as well as all the other players that play 2 Tay. but you know it is what it is uh, so I mean I, I, I like this shot don't get me wrong but I'm just don't send myself pin them up because I know I won't use them Next we have Diamond Rick Berry. Uh, I feel like he's gonna be. I know I said uh, Kawhi would probably be like the the like least of value diamond, but I feel like the Rick Berry definitely would be uh, the least value diamond. Is I don't know if there's really a point in even having Rick Berry in this set. Like I feel like they just like kind of left like needed an extra diamond player and just like just gave Rick Berry the card. Uh, not that Rick Berry was a bad player. He was definitely a good player. Uh, but I, I feel like they, there was really no reason, like, to have him in this set. Uh, to the, they should have chose a, a, a better player, in my opinion. Uh, but he's, he's good, uh, obviously, if you, uh, want to. He's obviously, hold on, let me see. Uh, yeah, so no one's even been on this card, and it's been up for probably, like, four hours. And it's down to a minute now. And nobody's even been, up, been on this card yet. I'm not going to be on because I don't really see myself wanting with Rick Barry. Uh, but yeah, 99 offensive, 95 defensive. Uh, obviously, he's just not worth the pick up, in my opinion, unless you're going for that pink diamond MJ. Next up, we have Diamond Magic Johnson, man. Uh, 99 offensive overall, 99 defensive overall. This guy looks like a freaking monster. Um. He is obviously a really good card. Uh, he comes with, let's see, 10 Hall of Fame badges. And uh, Dimer is obviously one of my favorite. Difficult Shots is one of my favorites. After Bat is one of my favorites. And Angel Breaker is another one of my, another one of my favorites. Uh, I would definitely rend up, uh, recommend picking up this card uh, if you can get him. Uh, he's actually <laughs> going for a crap ton right now. So I definitely would not be getting him right now. Um, but... Yeah, in the future though, man, I might be getting this card. I might uh, sell some players um, for him. I don't, I don't know yet. We have this 97 overall Twilight, uh, 97 offensive, 99 defensive overall. You know this guy's going to be a beast on defense. Uh, he's a pretty good offense too. I would definitely run him probably at the stretch four, maybe a three, uh, probably three actually more than likely. He has seven Hall of Fame badges. Uh, most of them being defensive to the is like a two time, two or three time, uh, back to back, um, defensive player of the year. Uh, Hall of Fame chase down artist, Hall of Fame mid range, uh, Hall of Fame pickpocket, Hall of Fame pit dodger, Hall of Fame charge card, Hall of Fame defensive stopper, Hall of Fame catch and shoot. Hall of Fame catch and shoot on a twi though, like that's that's OP. That is OP. Last but not least, we have a Diamond Larry Bird, man. Uh, 99 offensive, 99 defensive. Uh, obviously, the big thing with Larry Bird is his shot. Uh, if it fits his shot and his shot is actually nice, this card is going to be a monster because his stats are incredible. It's a Larry Bird. Why would they not be incredible? Uh, but they're really good uh, stats. As long as his shot is good, this card is going to be, to be deadly, man. He comes with 10 Hall of Fame badges, corner specialist, mid range Jedi, deep range Jedi, limitless range, difficult shots, pick and popper, tireless floor, test and shoot, charge start, defensive stopper, and two, oh wait, two, uh, 15 gold badges, man, uh, and three uh, silver badges, and one bronze badge. Obviously, you can just upgrade those and they'd all be gold. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, this Lord Birdman is probably going to be a beast. Uh, just uh, hope that they fit the shot. This set is obviously for the 99 overall Pink Diamond MJ. This guy has some insane stats, man. I would love to have him, but I don't think I'll ever get him. It's just simple as that. I don't think I'll ever get him uh, because these cards are on for way too much, at least right now. Maybe if they alt him down to, like, 100k a piece, I may get him. And I'm, I'll probably have to snipe a couple of them, too. Uh, but it, you know, it just comes down to a lot. Um, but yeah, I feel like that's, uh, that's it for this set. Uh, in my opinion, it's kind of underwhelming, uh, I guess. Uh, but I really wish this Toby had some stats. 
uh, or not stats, has some Hall of Fame badges. I really wish this Rick Barry was not in the set. Maybe somebody else. Uh, this, I would take the bird and the magic, but they're going for too much. And I, re I really do like this uh, Bill Russell right here. I feel like he's going to be a beast later on. Um, so, yeah, that does it for the set. You guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you did, leave a like, and I will be sure to upload more videos uh, in the future. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, so, yeah, once again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.